Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. If you're running into Windows 10 messages that the class does not registered error, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Open up the start menu, type in component services, best match should go back with component services. Go ahead and right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. Now you want to expand the component services section, so either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing for the computers folder. And now you want to go ahead and where it says my computer, you want to expand that one as well. Now to make this a little bit wider here, you want to go ahead and select the DCOM config folder. So go ahead and left click on that. You get this pop up, you want to go select yes and then close out of here. Restart your computer and attempt to open up the app again and see if that has resolved the problem. If you are still experiencing an issue, you can go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best match to go back to command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to select yes. Now I'm going to have a command in the description of my video, I want you guys to copy it and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it, left click on edit and then left click on paste, hit enter on your keyboard once you run that command. Now attempt to open up the application to see if that's resolved your problem. So hopefully that again should have been able to fix the issue you were having your problem with. One further thing you can try if you close out of there, open up the start menu, type in default apps. Best match to come back with default apps, go ahead and left click on that one time. Please know what we're about to do is going to reset the default apps on your Windows computer, so you might have to reset back if you change your default web browser or video player or whatnot, you might have to change it back, but we're going to be resetting everything back to Microsoft recommended defaults here, so click the reset button. You'll just have to manually change back your defaults here, so for most people that's really not that big of a deal. Again, this is also our third method we're trying here, so the other two didn't work for you. So hopefully that was able to resolve the problem again and close out of here, attempt to open up the app and I do hope that that was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.